Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this episode we are going to take a look at the Ortomaster 15, the laser engraver that we have tried and seen so many times, but this time we are going to yeah, expand it with the Y-axis rotary roller, a thing that makes it possible to have round objects under the laser engraver so that we can engrave them and uh, well, let's see how it goes. So here we have the Ortomaster laser engraver, this one, and this is the Y-axis rotary roller. And what this does is it makes it possible to have a round object, like a, a glass or something like that, and to have it rotate when uh, the motor spins so that you can engrave on top of this glass. Now, of course, this is a very fun thing to do, so let's see how we can change this thing into a y-axis rolled uh, object. Now, before we do so, you have to know that we have to raise this up because, well, of course, this is much and much higher uh, from the ground when we are using it this way. So what we have to do is we have to place this underneath and when this is working, then uh, we have to make sure that it can go this way. So this mo motion we have to, to continue, but we have to make sure that uh, this motion is gone, because this motion is something we don't need, as this is going to rotate on the y-axis. So this motion is the y-axis, and well, we have to convert it to this one. So here we have the machine and well the stepper that controls this motion is of course this stepper. Now when we rotate the unit to the bottom view you can see that this is the plug that we have to unplug because this motor is the motor that sends the, the whole machine from left to right and this is what is called the y-axis. So what we are going to do now is we are going to unplug this plug here and we are going to extend that with the plug of the other Ortomaster machine and there is only one way you can do this correctly and that's this way. But notice here it's all the way twisted and I am wondering if this goes well because this is the only way we can insert this. Now of course we want to know if everything is mounted correctly so let's see what happens when we turn on the machine. It homes on both the axes and of course this one can't finish because there is no home. So now we know that everything works, we also have to change some things in the software because uh, in the software is where you have to change some settings, uh, otherwise it won't work as a rotary roller. So let's get into the software and see what we can do there. So here back in the computer screen we are going to the, uh, yeah, the, the software that we got with this machine, uh, Laser Gerbil, and we are going to launch Laser Gerbil. Now, when it launches, we have to, uh, of course, first make it bigger so we can see everything we do. And then we have to make sure that the laser is connected. So we have to select the right COM port. Now, in my case, this is COM8. And the correct baud rate, and which is already set correct for me. And now I click on connect. So my laser will respond that it is connected. Now, we have to unlock the laser. So I go here and unlock it and you will get a response over here saying that it's unlocked. Now we can go to Gerbil and then Gerbil configuration and uh, I don't know if this is the same for everyone but for me we have to change the lines 20 soft limit switch enabled uh, which we have to change to 0 and also we have to change 22 uh, which is the homing cycle enabled, because we don't want to have the homing cycle enabled. So we have to change that to zero as well. 
Now, of course, we have to write these settings to the laser and then we have to close this. Now, off camera, I had to make some changes and this was because the camera didn't have enough memory to record to and, uh, well, I had to change some things in the setup as well and, uh, stupidly enough, I didn't make the recordings of the changes I made. But let me show you what I did. So I used a few books and then a few shelves uh, to get the laser higher. And now that I have everything higher, uh, I used a glass that I placed on the Y-axis rotary roller. And uh, then we can see what it does, how it uh, will engrave this. So let's go back into the software and see how it looks. Now this is the file that I loaded and uh, this is the file I'm going to try and engrave into this glass. And uh, well, of course I need protection, uh, so I put up my glasses like this and uh, also I will set myself in a little corner over here. So there I am. So you can see what I'm doing and uh, well this is actually the file that I'm going to print. First I'm going to take a look uh, at the direction where it's going to print and well you can see the laser that's in front of me uh, but I'll also show it from another angle of course. So this is where it is going to engrave and uh, now let's fire up the laser and see what it does. Now, while this is happening, I can already see that my paper that I put inside the glass is burning and uh, therefore it's burning away and my laser shines through over here at the bottom as you can see. So uh, this is something we have to, yeah, to take seriously into account when engraving things like this because if it goes true and true then, well, you could uh, burn your table for example. So this is something you have to take in account that this can happen. Now another thing to take in account is that uh, the setup as I made it here is not very stable as you can see over there. It's wobbling up and down and therefore yeah, you really need a better more stable setup than this. So I will build something to make it more stable than it is right now. Now, please notice that you have to wear your glasses all the time because, well, as you can see over here, for example, uh, it, it's really dangerous. The reflections are going everywhere. And uh, if you're not wearing your protective glasses, then you could really hurt your eyes. So please make sure to wear those because Especially when you're doing glass like this, it's really, really important that you do. Now, as we can all see, um, this is how it came out. And, well, let me take off the glass from the bed. And there is a lot of ash on the inside. And I'm afraid it completely went through and through. And I first have to wash it off before we can really see the engraving. But it did work, it did engrave uh, on the surface of this glass. And now let me show you this uh, engraving from a close look in this camera. Um, as you can see, it perfectly melted the glass and therefore engraved the glass. Uh, there are some lines, as you can see over here. Um, and I don't really know where they are coming from, but uh, it must have to do something with the settings. But as you can see, it's a perfect engraving, uh, which came into the glass very, very nice. And as you can see, there is nothing on the background. So I only put a roll of paper on the inside, and this was enough to protect it although it got on fire, uh, but it was enough to protect the foreground and the background uh, so that the foreground is perfectly engraved and the background, well, 
nothing happened. So everyone, this is it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, it really was fun to make. Uh, I had some problems along the first try and uh, well maybe you have seen it in the previous video where uh, I broke my uh, motherboard on my Orter Master 15 and uh, well I don't really know what happened when uh, when I was replacing it uh, for the y-axis direction motor but yeah something happened and then my motherboard got broken the dirt line uh, direction line of the stepper driver was wrong and well yeah everything went wrong from that way but then i received a new board from Orter. i replaced it and uh, well i have to say great service from Orter and a very nice machine to play with so I'm going to test out a lot of more materials uh, to see what, yeah, what I can do with it. And uh, well, if you would like to see that, then please like, subscribe, everything like that. Uh, because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.